Hey Chrissy, I'm gonna answer your question. You want to allow a discount code to only apply to one item in an order and this item is a collection of a certain color. So I'm gonna show you a simple way in a more advanced way. Uh, the simple way is, well, both of the ways you need to use <clears throat> our automatic discount app. And once you install this app that I have here, it's only a test you will see something like that where you can create discount links and discount rules well I'm gonna show you how to create a rule exactly like this like in the food uh, <laughs> food uh, programs at the t TV so I'm gonna show you how it l looks when you're finished and we're gonna do it together so <clears throat> right now the easy way is first to create a discount I'm going to create a discount specific to a collection that I call, let's say I'm going to call it collection A. When you create conditions on the discount, you can select the percentage of the dollar discount. Let's say I know exactly the one item that I want to discount and I know that this one item costs 10 bucks. I'm going to be collection specific but it could be also product specific but for, for for you right now it's collection specific and I want to apply this to wholesaler collection because I don't have a lot of collections and this is where you need to um, to look carefully you want to apply the discount only once per order because if I have five items from this collections I don't want you to have five multiplied by ten which is fifty dollar off just want a ten dollar off and I that's it so I'm just copy paste collection a discount well I could type it again but I'm gonna put it here and here I could add a cart rule based on the number of items on the weight of the order or number of the same item or different items well, I'm going to keep it uh, simple for now. I'm going to add a 60 box uh, that I want as a minimum purchase. And if I do this, the only reason why we added a product type and vendor restriction is because um, right now how I just did it and it would work for your specific need but right now the discount will be triggered if the cart rule is met which is every time someone will purchase more or equal than 60 bucks the discount will be triggered at checkout if the items are not in collection A it will still be triggered but it will show you an error on the checkout page it will say you don't qualify for discount called collection A some people might be frustrated some people might be curious but in all the cases I believe it's not the best to have this set up like this so that's why we added the product type right now my product that is in the wholesaler collection the only one that I have is a cubic cube cubic cube and I won't save this because I already did that and I don't want the, my two rules to conflict but this product type is called collection A if I go in my products I can show you that I added the in the wholesaler collection I have only one product which is the cu cubic cube sorry and I call it product for all seller and the product type is collection A and the vendor is Tabarnap. I could use also the vendor but or both but I just want to show you how to restrict the triggering of the discount with a product type. So this discount is called test discount. It's the same as the other one just five bucks instead of ten and it's it's applied only once per order. Uh, here we added a way to specify if you allow or not to have other products outside this restriction present in the cart which means by default it's always accept other products outside the restriction present in the cart for the new rules it doesn't used to work like that for everyone that 
uh, is already using the app with uh, and that has already rules prior to March uh, 26 15 uh, sorry 17 <laughs> but um, yeah so that means if I respect the rule I buy more than 50 it's the product in the collection a and I have other products in different collection and especially I mean in different product types uh, if I click do not accept other products outside the restriction present in the cart, then the discount won't be triggered. So you will have orders that look like they meet the rule, but because you do not accept other products, they won't get the discount. If you accept it, they will. And that's why we specify to check the discount code if it applies to any item or if the discount code itself has restrictions like right now we have a restriction on the collection so i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna go in my store so right now i need to find the product for wholesalers i think it's on page two well this these are all fake products it's not a real store don't buy here um okay so right now i have a 40 box which doesn't meet the rule that is over or equal to 50 bucks so if I go to checkout I don't have any discount applied I'll go back and I'll just update this because it's a shitty theme and it doesn't update automatically then I see this bar which should be shown uh, fully because I'm admin it's a bit hidden then I see that my discount applied because I respect all the rules which is amount over 50 this is a product type of the collection a and it's also inside the collection if I have other products let's go back and I will buy anything like this So right now my setting is I do not accept other products. So right now I have another product that is not in the same product type. So if I go to checkout, I don't have any more my discount, which is bad because I mean, I mean it's good for sometimes, but for now it's pretty bad because I I want this discount. And the only reason I would not want it if if the discount itself doesn't have a restriction based on the collection and it's off the total orders for example or off the total orders over 50 bucks then the the discount would be applied to every item in the cart and that's why and it, that's why it's, it's it's beautiful to have this double or triple restrictions based on the product type the amount spent and inside the collection uh, the discount itself I have a collection restriction right here so if I go back and I remove this biker cap let's say I remove this and I had one here now I still have my test discount only five bucks once per, earth, per item but if I would have uh, changed uh, this once per item for every applicable item in the cart, I would have three times the $5 discount. So basically this is it. Uh, this is what it looks like. You could change the rule. You can add a vendor, add a product type. Um, you can change as well the discount itself. And you can try this. If you make a change uh, to an existing rule, I would suggest you clear your cache or try incognito or wait at least five to 10 minutes for the change to propagate and then you're ready to go. Thanks for your time and I hope it will work for you, Chrissy.